Yeah, sorry much, I remember that. Come on, let's go now. Come on, I'm going to turn that Spaghetti, please. She's paying. Is that right? I'm a fool to myself, but yes, go on. I did come in early. Oh, first time ever. He can get his own pudding, though. I've just been over to the salon. It was shut. Yeah, well, um, hairdressers do have to eat, you know. If you want a haircut, ask Tom. I'll come about the flat. Oh, yeah. Above the salon. Is it still empty? Um, well, no, not really. Why? I'm looking for somewhere. Uh, Spider, no, I am sorry. It wouldn't be suitable. Why not? Be well, it's not your business. I don't have to give reasons. You don't approve of my lifestyle, do you? <laughs> it's hardly style. You know what I mean, Audrey. Spider, love. Look, if I wanted to turn my property into a commune for the great unwashed, I would advertise in Dropout Weekly or whatever it is. And uh, what about ethnic minorities and gays? Oh, for goodness sake, what are you talking about? Prejudice. But, me, prejudice? <laughs> Tom, did you hear that? That's a joke of ten. Prejudice. <laughs> so, what exactly is your policy on rehousing the homeless, Councillor Roberts? Because I'm sure your voters would love to read about it in the Weatherfield Gazette. Who else would you exclude? Look, don't start to talk all clever. I will not exclude anybody. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, anyway, there is a deposit, you know. Can you afford that? I don't know. How much is it? Five hundred pounds. You know I can't afford it. Not very close to. Is that right? Five hundred quid. No, that's what I said. What? Well, I think I did. Have we seen Ken Barlow's house? No, oh, you can't miss it, can you? I bet he's mortified everybody knowing his sister. Oh no, I mean men don't care about people knowing their age. Not like we do. They do. Well, I mean, you'd know about that, wouldn't you? Well, I'm just going off Roy. He's very philosophical about anything like that. Well, he may be, but, I mean, uh, no. You'd know about men's feelings with all your memories, eh? Uh, I bet Ken's not very pleased with Deirdre, though, eh? telling everybody he's six, though. Are you really going to give him cut price haircuts? Well, no, I might have to reconsider that, actually, because, I mean, Ken's not an OAP till he's 65, is he? I mean, 65 for men, 60's only for women, isn't it? Now, how will you go on there, Hayley? Who do you mean? Well, I mean, how will you be fixed? Do you think they'll let you draw your old age pension when you're 60 or what? Oh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. No. <laughs> Otherwise, thousands of men would do what you did, eh, if they thought they could get their pension five years sooner. <laughs> Somehow I don't think so, Councillor Roberts. Consider <laughs> <laughs> yourself told off, Andrea. <laughs> Mind you now. It's a very interesting subject in money, isn't it? Take you, for instance. There's not many young men of your age that could get their hands on £500, just like that, for a deposit on a flat. Couldn't they? You know they couldn't. I mean, I hope it's all right, that money. I didn't steal it, Audrey, that's what you mean. Of course you didn't. My mum. She left me some money in her will. In her will? Oh, Tom, you've lost your mum. Oh, love, I'm sorry. Yeah, I wasn't being me up, sir. I was just taking an interest, that's all. Do you want to talk about it? I'd rather not, Audrey. You know where I am, then? Yeah. I believe Blanche has had you jumping through hoops today. That's a nice one. Yeah, it's OK. Decent sound, but the bass is a bit long. Yeah. Hey, is this your mower? Yeah, it was my mum's. Yeah. Uh, do you want to live in them boxes? Uh, yeah, great. I'm just moving into Audrey's flat. Uh, you unload and I'll shift it upstairs. I've got a couple of trips, so it might take a bit of time. Oh, it's all right. I'm on my lunch hour. Hey, can I come for a spin with you? Uh, yeah, if you want. Well, I've driven a few of these in my time, you know. You? Oh, yeah, they're dead popular on the street, these. If you know what I mean. But a bit of advice, get one of those steering locks. Expert could be in there within ten seconds. An expert yourself, are you? No, it's just what I've heard. Excuse me? Yes, 
love. Don't love me, please. Do you know who I am? Of course I do. Well, who am I? You're Audrey. Yes, I am. I'm Audrey. And I also happen to be the proprietress of this establishment. And I do not appreciate people just wandering in and out as if they own the place. Because they don't. I do. Now, what do you want? I'm helping me, mate. Oh, right. Is this true? Uh, well, yeah. Well, can't say I approve of your little help, mate, but all right. But if I have an inkling that you are casing the joint, I'll know where to send the police when you get burgled. Oh, actually, I've got one or two bits and pieces you could have. I'd, I'd be very grateful, really, if you could shift them. Oh, well, thanks, but uh, no, I'm fine. Most of my stuff's colour-coordinated. Oh, Coordinated. I would get him. But times have changed, haven't they? You're telling me. I mean, letting that little tank roam the streets. He's not even electronically tagged. <laughs> oh. yeah. oh, I see. This is nice. Oh, you've got really good taste on the air. Ah, do I work for you? Oh. <laughs> oh. Then what about your dad? Will he be over? No. Oh. Well, I... Very really sad you've left home, eh? Not really. Oh dear, why were you unhappy? Oh, I'm sure he didn't really want you to go. I mean, well, not with your mum gone and everything. Were that recent, by the way? Uh, two years ago. Two years? Four months and three days, to be precise. Oh, sweetheart. She had breast cancer. Oh no. Yeah, wasn't very nice. But anyway, uh, Thanks for popping in. No, you're welcome. Oh. No. Oh. Do you know how awful having a lovely son like you and not being able to see him grow into a man? Yeah, well. But really precious those moments you had with your mummy. Eh? So you'll never forget those, will you? No. Do you know? And wherever she is, I bet she's really, really proud of you. Just like your dad must be, eh? Okay, see you. Hello. Well, if you're looking for that scene, she's still on her honeymoon. Well, I know she is. I've come to see Tom. Oh, right. Do you want to make an appointment? No, I'm back with my usual hairdresser now. Oh, hello. Well, there he is. Hi, Tom. Surprise, right. surprise. I fancy nipping out for something? Uh, no, he can't. He's working. He breaks for lunch, doesn't he? Not till Maxine gets back. No. Oh, well, I'll only keep him a minute. Well, mate, sure you do. Tom, Mrs McNamara was just sitting there. She's all right. She's just cooling off. She's really full of herself, that one. She seems nice enough. She'll be up the aisle herself in a few weeks. Why she up with Tom? Are you saying he's not safe? Uh, all right, I know. Mind your own business. See you, love. All right, love. Uh, we can't get out from under the dry now. How about tonight? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I moved into the flat upstairs. On your own? Yeah. No girlfriend or anything? Well, not at the moment. The yeah, I'm spoken for, isn't it? I suppose it is. I'll tell you what. If you've got a bottle of wine, I'll bring round a pizza and you can show me what you've done to the place. Oh, I haven't done much. Well, tell me your plans. OK, if that's what you want. Um, see you about seven. Great. I was expecting me at eight. I wouldn't want to know where you've been. You might. What are you going to say? I'll think it's something. Don't worry about it. Have you gone off him? No. You haven't had a row? He's crazy about me. Oh, don't brides get cold feet as the big day approaches? It's not that either. Maxine's wedding was fun, Oh, but... you're not going to tell me you'd had too much to drink. No. So what's your problem? I just didn't expect to see you again, that's all. I'm not married yet. I've still got my own surname. I don't belong to Philip. No, I don't suppose you do. And I like a bit of fun, too. Fair enough. That's the way you feel. It's a nice flat, this. Shall I come back? That's up to you. Well... Now that I know where you live, I can call any time I like. Can't I? Yeah. OK. I will. See you. Oh, hello. We meet again. Oh, yeah, the, the calf. So, what can I do for you? I want a haircut. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Come on, give us your coat. I'll see to you. I want the lad to do it. Oh, 
Right, well, I think Tom will just go for his lunch. Uh, Tom, this gentleman would like a haircut, please. Yeah, I'll see to him. I'll go for my lunch later. Take a seat. So what'll it be? Number three? Take it all off. You are joking. Am I? You want me to shave your head? That's what I said. Everything all right, Tom? Yeah, you get off if you want. I'll just tidy up in the back then, OK? I'm waiting. Right, that's it. Come on, and the rest. You want to shave and you can go somewhere else. You've seen what you came for. Now, if everyone wanted their hair shaved, there'd be a lot less work for the likes of us, wouldn't there, Tom, eh? <laughs> Right, now, I'm off to my lunch. Will you lock up? Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Hope to see you again. <laughs> All right, sad case. You don't know her. <laughs> don't need to. Been sat in that chair for a quarter of an hour. Long enough to know what's what. Do you spend all your time with her? Oh, at work. She's my boss. There's another stylist. She comes back next week. Oh, stylist. Is that what they call you, then? Stylist? Yeah, it's a job. Not for a lad, it's not. Look, if you're good, the sky's the limit. This isn't the sky. More like the gutter round here. You don't know round here. <laughs> I've got eyes in my head, haven't I? I'd say we're the bottom end of the market. Dead end. I'm not listening. So, who else do you knock around with? Well, the stylists. That's my business. Do you know something? You're a loser. Hmm? That's what you are. Yeah, hey, Olivia, I'm, that's my loss. Anyway, I don't want to discuss it. Not now, not ever. Oh, great pub is this, Crush. You want to get in here more regular? Hey, Jim, over here. Meet my mate, Crush, you. Oh. Played at Wembley, did Crush, you. Oh, how you doing, mate? What are you having, Jim? I'll take a pint with you, so will. Yeah, me and all. Your shout, pal. You sure? Oh, go on, get on with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vinny! You get the seats, I'll get the drinks, sir. Do you mind if I change my mind? I've still got some unpacking Oh, no nonsense. Now, come on. It's the end of the week. I want to buy you a drink. I insist. No, look, I'd rather not, honestly. With you in a minute. No, no problem. Wait, yeah, Crush. Tom. Excellent. You can do better than round here. I'll decide that. What is there for you round here? Oh, you seem to be enjoying yourself. <laughs> With them horses. Come on. What is there? I've told you. A job and a flat. That's all I need. Just leave me be. So you don't want anything from me, then? No. All right. Give me the car keys, then. You what? Oh, glad enough to use the car when you want. You have to move them a gear. Yeah, and the rest. Showing off to your stylist pals. I'll take them. You did that on purpose. Pick them up. You want them, you pick them up. Listen, I said. Jim, give us that. Listen, we need him. Look, it's a quiet but You don't put up with trouble. Are you threatening me? No, I'm just saying. Oh yeah, because I'll have you outside. No, you won't. Just settle down. Get your head. Jim, get out of this. Why don't you just leave? Tom, do you know this man? He's my dad. Is he? Right. You can all carry on with your drinking. Tom, what's going on? And you, Audrey. I'm just going to take this gentleman outside for a little chat. Is he your dad? Dougie Ferguson? What's the pity? Listen, love. This is nothing to do with you or your pub. Look, you've had a good drink and now I think it's time to call it a day, so let me get you a cab. No need. That's my car. The wife's. Well, you can't drive it. You're right. Better hadn't. That lad, it was the apple of his mother's eye and mine. Football, cricket, rugby, could have played for his county. You got kids? Why don't you get yourself off home, eh? <laughs> Hairdresser. He's a lovely lad. You could do a lot worse. Oh, do your hair as well, does he? It's nothing to be ashamed of. Go on. Good night. Good night. Oh, 
Oh, Audrey, uh, come in. Uh, well, if you put some clothes on, did I wake you up? It doesn't matter. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, but you can guess what got me going this morning, can't you? I mean, the thought of that big bruiser being your dad. I mean, he really is your dad, is he? You think I'd say he was if he wasn't? Tom, I'm absolutely amazed you like chalk and cheese. I mean, is he always like that? I mean, picking fights with you all the time. Well, I'm a big disappointment to him. Being a hairdresser is ashamed of me. Ashamed of you? I can't bear these prehistoric attitudes, you know. I mean, he should be glad that you've got a job at all. And especially one you enjoy. I'd tell him that, no. Yeah, but you're not an ex-championship rugby player, Audrey. What? Well, that's where he's coming from. Being the famous Dougie Crusher Ferguson. Oh, is that? Oh, and is, um, is rugby... Is that why he's still involved in that? Oh, he's got a printing business now. What he wants me to get into, he can dream on. Melanie. Hiya. I didn't expect to see you today. Why don't you want to, then? Oh, of course I do. Don't be mad. I just think this has turned into a bit more than a final fling. So, long as we're having a nice time. We are, aren't we? Awesome. <laughs> My boss came around here first thing this morning. Dame Audrey. Won't be up. Why? What did she want? My life history, which is now fascinated by. Thanks to my drunk of a dad going for me in the Rovers last night. Your dad? Yeah, my dad. Semi-famous, once upon a time, rugby champ. You are? I just thought I'd be the first to fill you in. What? Are you saying he went for you in the Rovers? Well, he often talks with his fists. Oh, are you kidding? Probably won't be his last appearance around here either. Now he knows where I am. Oh, Tom. Anyway, I didn't tell Audrey the whole picture. She's just interested because she thinks he's some sort of star. But why is he so horrible to you? He's a very bitter bloke, especially since my mum died. That's when he really hit the drink. But then, you know, he's always had a problem with me. Basically because I don't want to be him. Anyway, cheers. Cheers. Did your mum die quite recently? <sighs> Just over two years ago. Cancer. Oh, that's awful. I think my dad really loved her. Even though she did always used to take my side against him. Is it only you, then? No brothers or sisters? No, just myself. Well, I think you're really gorgeous. <laughs> Come here and give us a kiss and let me cheer you up a bit. <laughs> Hi! <Hey>, see. <laughs> so you're here now, then, eh? Welcome home. Oh, this is crazy. I had about Ash. Oh, Audrey's just been round. She's told me about your dad. Good old Audrey. I just can't get my head around what's been happening. There's Ashley stuck on a cargo ship. Poor Judy Mallet suddenly died. All that stuff about you. Now, my mum's just decided to tell me she's walking out with my dad. Are you kidding? Yeah, she's round at hours. She's staying there. I said I had to go out for a walk. I just can't cope with it anymore. You can offer us a drink. Uh, right. Yeah. Glass of wine. Yeah, a large one. Oh, should we go to Rovers? I thought I recognised that voice. You? Did you have a fab honeymoon? <laughs> I knew you two were up something at our wedding, in my bridal suite. You were, weren't you? Only snogging. Yeah, sure. And I suppose Philip doesn't know about it. It's only a last little fling, Max. Oh, don't say anything to Philip, please. It's not about him, it's just me having some fun. Yeah, well, I don't think he'll see it like that. Just forget I was here, OK? Oh, she tells Philip. She will. Come back to bed. She thinks it's Ashley. But at least it gives the customers a good impression, right? Well, just until she realises it's not in. I'll put it up till Tuesday. Bye. Sorry about that. Oh, look, I do not want any trouble. Oh, don't worry, there won't be. Uh, will you excuse me anyway, for a second? Um, oh, there's something I wanted to show you. Just... What do you want? <clears throat> Come to see you. You're going to throw your weight around? I were out of order the other week. Uh, I know that. I just want to talk to you. Well, that's a first. Look, we can't talk here. Um, what time's your dinner break? I'll get stuffed. I'll be in the pub over the road. I think you'd be even less welcome over there than you are in here. Not if I go and make the peace. Tom, please, just give us a chance. 
I've got to get back to my client. Tom said I'd find you here. Yeah, I'm hoping Ashley might call. Do you fancy a sauna? I've made one. Oh, no, thanks. I've got to get back. I came to ask you a favour, actually. Oh, yeah. I'd really, really like to see Tom tonight, but I need an alibi. You don't mind if I tell Philip I'm going out with you, do you? No chance. Oh, please, Max. If you want to play with her, feel free, but don't involve me in it. Oh, go on, just this once. I don't know how you can even think about seeing someone when you're going to get married in a month. Just makes a total mockery of the whole thing. It's just a bit of fun. Tom's so cute. Fun? You're having an affair behind your fiancé's back. Something like Jerry Springer. <sighs> Loads of people have affairs. Yeah, usually after they're married. All right, you won't help me fine, but don't lecture me. No, I will, actually, Manny, because I think what you're doing is wrong. And sooner or later, somebody's going to get hurt. I'm off, then. I'd either call it off with Tom. Yeah, I'll see you later. Oh, you've got to call off your wedding. Bye. All I've come in for is to apologise. Do ask you to shoot me. I'm very sorry about what happened. And I'd like to offer everyone here a drink on me to make amends. Oh, you can't get further than that, Vinnie Mill Velvet. I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, ask the landlady. Oh, come on. It's not every day we get a celebrity in here. You can't bar him. Go on, then. <laughs> hey, mine's a pine. Hey, the way you shoved that lad of yours the other day. I'm not proud of what it did. Oh, of course not. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just uh, saying it. It didn't have to take me back to your playing days, like. Hey, crush. <laughs> hey. I mean, it'd be all right if I brush over here. I just can't cope with as much of them on my own. Mothers and daughters shouldn't spend this much time together. It's unhealthy. Hi, yeah. Nancy seeing you in here. Hi, Mel. What are you doing here? Just passing. Wondering whether I could buy my favourite hairdresser a drink. Thanks, but um, I think I'd better be going home. I can't leave my mum on her own too long. She starts rearranging the furniture. What's wrong with her? She's a bit distracted. So, uh, what are you really doing here? I don't know yet. Why don't you buy a thirsty girl a drink? We'll take it from there. I thought you were going to buy me a drink. Well, what's the rush? Plenty of time for that. We're going to have another one then. Oh, I don't think so. I'd better head off. Work tomorrow. Early night, is it? That's right. Want some company? To say no. Very rude. Well, I better say yes then. <laughs> now, what's he got that I haven't? Well, don't answer that. If you're seeing Tom as often as you say, I am. Why can't you do you? Not me. Because I couldn't sit still. The minute he touches me, I'm gone. I still engaged to Philip? Oh, thanks. Like I need to remind him. Well, are you going to marry him? I know you can't blame me for wondering. Yeah, OK. I can't talk in here. I'll tell you later. Thanks very much. See you next time. Well, I suppose it's good for business. You bring in your girlfriend, is it? She's not a girlfriend. She's just, uh... Just what? Go on. Well, somebody I see now and then. Oh, right. Oh, that's all she is, is it? And uh, does she know? No, I mean, it's not a relationship. It's not going anywhere. Oh, that is a relationship, one that isn't going anywhere. It's quite a common one, actually. I know it started off just messing about, but sometimes your feelings take over, don't they? Yeah, if you let them. You can't stop them. So what are you saying? I think I love him. Well, I know I shouldn't, but I do. Yeah, but like, what's going to happen about your wedding to Philip? I have no idea. I just don't know what to do, Max. It's a nightmare. So will you tell him I'll see him tonight? Tell him yourself. I don't like keep going in. What's that boss of yours going to think of me? Oh, well, you don't care. Anyway, what makes you think he wants to see you? He might have something else planned. Yeah, but if I don't go in, then he can't tell me. Then he'll have to be there, won't he? So, are you going to see her or what? Yeah, if I've nothing else going on. <gasps> Mr. Cooler. Yeah, he might be, but the way she's carrying on, she's mad about him. Well, you can't blame her. He's a good-looking lad. So is the one she's engaged to. Well, these things never run smooth, do they? Eh? No, not if you carry on the way they're carrying on. Honestly, I don't know what's happening. The minute I get married, everybody else goes bananas. Mum splits up with my dad and I'm a best mate's cheating on a fiancé. 
Well, you see, Maxine, sweetheart, now you are seeing things now as a married woman. It does make a difference. Mm, never did to you. Anyway, I know I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to be faithful to Ashley for the rest of my life. Uh, mineral water and dry my wine, please. Hey! You don't mind me coming round? No, of course I don't. Only I told Philip I was staying with Max. So, I mean, there's no rush for me to get back. Look, we haven't really talked about it properly. But, well, you are supposed to be engaged. Supposed to be. But what I'm saying, I don't want to, you know, get in the way. You're not doing Anyway, all I'm bothered about is that he's not getting in our way. Well, yeah, but... So why worry? You don't have a clue what's going on, and so all three of us are happy. Well, you are, aren't you? Yeah, I suppose I am. I mean, we should have absolutely battered them. I mean, they've enough cloggers in midfield. I need someone with a bit of culture and someone who can knock it about a bit. Are you gorgeous? No oh, uh, I was hoping that was someone talking to me. Dream on it. You can buy me a drink, though. I'll have a dry white wine. Uh, Melanie, this is my mate, Vic. Charmed. So, if you've any energy left after last time, I thought we might see if we can't manage an action replay. Oh, I can't. I'm, uh, I'm going somewhere. Well, can't you put it off? Well, I'm supposed to be seeing some of Vic's mates. They're coming up from Birmingham Special, and uh, there's some lads from school I haven't seen for ages. Yeah. All be lads talk. Mm, I can imagine. Still, I can wait, I suppose. Nice. I'm off then. I know where you can get a wig and some dark glasses if you like, mate. Hey, it's not funny. She's rampant. Oh, I've had enough. I mean, I thought it was just a fling. Well, she said as much herself. Oh, mine, this is a girl who's supposed to be getting married soon. What you need, mate, is a girl like Leanne. No aggro, no complications. Well, at least not at the moment, anyway. Get everything sorted up front so you know where you stand. I'll get you a column in the paper. Dr. Vicks love tips. Get out. There's only one rule, mate. No ties. So how long she's staying? Mm, Chad said. Your mother-in-law in the next room, isn't it cramp your style? I don't know. I've not had a chance to find out. Here, go and get some more tea and toast and we'll go to top. Okay. Right, about Melanie. Two teas and toast, please, Toya. Hang on, I'm just having care of it. Are you turning into fresh girls today? No, I didn't leave Newcastle until five o'clock this morning. I need a good sleep. Does Fred know? Well, unless you tell me. Well, I'll keep your mouth shut then, will I? What do you think you're playing at? It's meant to be a bit of fun. Is that what Melanie said? Yeah. To start with? Yeah, well, she's not now. She's mad about you. She's raving. Max, I can't cope. Tell me what to do. How do I get rid of her? I don't know. It's not my problem. Oh, come on. Give me some advice. Phone her. Oh, I can't fill it, Max. Write her a letter then. Yeah, we might see it. Well, when she comes round, pretend you're not in. She'll just turn up at the sun. Why are you a bit stuck then, aren't you? There you are. Thank you, darling. Mm. True love. It's a many splendid thing. How would you know? Hi, Max. Hello. I hope you're not going to see Tom again. Of course I am. Why else would I be here? A bottle of red wine, please. A good one, doesn't matter about the price. Right, I'll make it the most expensive then. Why don't you take it back and drink it with Philip? Because Tom rang me this after and told me to beat his flat the minute he finishes work. Why was that then? Because he can't get enough of me. Why else? Are you sure that's the reason? Positive. Sometimes I can see it. Can't stay. Where's your corkscrew? Oh, we don't need it. What are you planning to do, bite the top off? No. Look, sit down a minute, will you? I sit down as soon as I've got this bottle open. Sit down now. I've got something I want to tell you. What? We've got to stop seeing each other. No, we haven't. You're getting married. Not yet. What will Philip say if he finds out? Nothing. Right, what'll he do? Oh, let's open the bottle. <laughs> Philip isn't here. You're the one I'm with. I mean it, Melanie. I'm not going to see you anymore. You are. No, I'm not. Maxine. Oh, hi, Philip. What's going on? What do you mean? She's left me another note. Says she's spending the night with you. Melanie. She's not, though, is she? Well. When did you last see her? I can't remember. You know, she just pops in and out. No, she doesn't. 
Look, if she comes round to mine, which she might do... She's got someone else, hasn't she? I don't know. What are you looking at? Nothing. Just checking the blinds down in the salon. Is she in there? No, cushion. she isn't. You're not as good as telling lies as she is. Look, Philip, she was here, but she's gone now. Where? I don't know. Try Lisa Thompson. She spends a lot of time with her. She hasn't been to Lisa's in weeks. That's another lie she's told. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know where she is. You do. After all, we've meant to each other. It's time to finish. But you said we were great together. It was good, but... Well, what did you bother with before it first played? Well, I was flattered. We were both a bit drunk and we got carried away. You said you wanted some fun. I know I did, but... Now you're talking, Miss. You're getting married. What else can I do? I'm not giving me all life up to Philip. I need my friends. No, that's not what we are. <laughs> my mistake. Sorry I bothered you. Tell me where she is. I don't know. What's going on? Philip's just trying to find out where Melanie is. Your wife knows who she's with, but won't say. Take your hands off her. She knows what Melanie's up to. Hey, oh, up, Looks like a Ralph's. Yes. <laughs> Just tell me where she is. Look, is that Maxie's new fancy fella? Didn't know she had one. Well, he's been away, hasn't he? Sailing the seven seas. Ashley. Thought you went up to the northeast. Come on, give over. Doesn't take three days to give Gary Malik your condolences. Hey, hang on, hang on, look. I'm sorry, Philip. I knew you were seeing someone. He talked me into it. He won't leave me alone. I think it was the other way around, actually. It doesn't matter, Maxine. It's none of our business. He seduced me. Seduced? I didn't. <laughs> he followed me everywhere. Would not take no for an answer. Well, that's not true. Why went on him, son? He's only a fancy hairdresser. What's the commotion? Audrey, that salon of yours. It's more like a massage parlour. Take me home, Philip. I want to be with you. You got here under your own steam. As far as I'm concerned, you can walk back. Philip. Then you can get your stuff and get out. This is your fault. You brought it on yourself. I'm going for a drink. I need one. Me too. You too, Maxine. I want to hear what's been going on. Hey, I'm going home. No, you are not. Thank you.